Hey, welcome back to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, and to another episode of Free on Facebook. A series of videos in which I find things for free on Facebook Marketplace. I repair them, recycle them, or repurpose them. In other words, I keep them out of the trash. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a Whirlpool or, or Kenmore washer that agitates but doesn't spin, or vice versa. It spins but doesn't agitate. And this video will be applicable to any of the newer style Whirlpool or Kenmore washers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. Alright, so this is what it sounds like when it's in wash. Sounds really weird. And uh, I've bypassed the lid switch here as well. And look at that, it's hardly agitating. Alright, so after we've removed the cover and the belt, um, you can see that the arm of the shifter was very loose. Um, you shouldn't be able to move it like that. So the shifter actuator arm is broken here. So basically what this shifter is doing is just um, shifting this clutch um, from agitate to spin. So that's why on this particular washer it spins but it won't agitate just because this arm is broken. So that's no problem because uh, I got another one right here so we're just gonna be slapping it right on and hopefully that fixes the issue. To uh, take off the shifter it's just this green screw right here and uh, another one right there and we're just gonna unplug it like that and we'll just take those two screws out and uh, we'll take a look at to see how badly that arm is broken. So as I mentioned at the start, a broken shifter arm can result in a couple of different symptoms. Um, so if it breaks while the clutch is at this position, then the machine will agitate but won't spin. But if it breaks while the clutch is up here, then it'll spin but it won't agitate. Well, it could also break somewhere in the middle so it'll get a, give you a slow spin or a slow agitate so there's a couple of different symptoms that could be caused by the shifter arm breaking all right so just to demonstrate what the difference between the broken one and the good one is um, so on the good one if you try to push down on it you won't be able to do anything it's you have resistance obviously you don't want to push too far otherwise you'll have two broken ones but uh, on the broken one here, you see that it just just moves without any sort of it doesn't offer any sort of resistance. I think a little plastic tab inside this here um, actuator got broken. But basically, all this shift this is called a shift mode shifter or a shift actuator. It's just a 120 volt motor that controls this arm right here that turns that clutch back and forth between agitation and um, spin. All right, so I'm just going to swap that, throw this one in, and we'll give it a run. All right, so uh, to install it, it's pretty much the reverse steps. Um, this time I got my tripod hooked up, so uh, I'll show it in a little bit more detail. Basically, we want this arm to go into here, and there's, these prongs are going to go into the holes that are right here. If you really like this might be a good opportunity to go ahead and replace this piece right here which is the splutch um, while you're replacing this actuator because uh, this will wear out over time but um, for the purposes of getting this machine up and running we're just gonna replace the part just replace the part that's broken and not worry about any sort of preventative maintenance for now um, yep all right so after we got the new actuator in We'll plug it in, of course. Alright, perfect. 
and then I'm gonna put the belt on. All right, so I've replaced the mode shifter and I've started a load of laundry. And as you could tell, it's agitating perfectly. So this is a nice little $25 repair you could do before tossing your machine. And uh, if you like this video and if it helped save you some money, some money, make sure you hit the thumbs up sign. Basically, if your machine is giving you similar symptoms or if it's spinning but not agitating or vice versa, it could easily be a mode shifter. So stay tuned for more DIY and tinkering videos as well. All right, here's the machine and its spin cycle. So it's agitating and shifting over to spin just fine.